I've been studying NASA grouper since 2004. We started doing surveys on these deep water reefs. So we go underwater, we count the fish along a certain section of the reef so we get an idea of uh, how many there are. And we do this during their spawning periods. These spawning sites are on the shelf edge of what they call the Puerto Rican Plateau. And this is a spawning site that other fish use as well. So other groupers, snappers, uh, over 16 years we've documented many species spawning on this same exact spot. In addition to the fish surveys, we've also been tagging NASA grouper with these acoustic transmitters, which allows us to track their movements and then track the behavior of individual fish. A lot of these sites are known to fishermen and they've been known for generations to fishermen. I would say that, that probably 95% of the spawning aggregation areas that scientists are working on in the world now, they learned about through fishermen. In 2005, there was a emergency closure of one of these spawning aggregation sites of NASA group called the Gramonic Bank. With the Gramonic Bank closure, um, you're not only protecting the NASA grouper, but you protected the yellow edge, the yellow fin grouper, the red grouper, black grouper. So several different species during the spawning period, which there's a no take for both territorial and federal waters for three months. In order for you to really understand what's taking place in any fishery, scientists and fishers must work alongside of each other. I want to continue to be a part of the person, you know, providing for our local community and at the same time protecting our heritage and culture for future generations. When I first started diving there, if I saw 20 Nassau group on a dive, that was a great dive. Now on the right day, I can see 500 on a dive. And so that hasn't been overnight, that's been 16 years and the increase has been gradual but it's been continuous. I like working with the NASA grouper partly because they they were so overfished and their populations collapse and they're starting to recover that we really want to see this be a complete success story. What we're doing here in the Virgin Islands will spread to other countries where NASA grouper have also been uh, populations have declined and will get a more regional increase in their populations, which is really the only way that you can sustain that conservation in small areas over the entire range that they occur.